The ancient city of Petra, nestled in the rugged desert canyons and mountains of what is now Jordan, stands as a testament to the ingenuity and artistry of the Nabataeans. This archaeological marvel, often referred to as the Rose City due to the color of the stone from which it is carved, was the capital of the Nabataean kingdom. This video explores the rich history of Petra, delving into its creation by the Nabataeans, their ingenious engineering techniques, and the architectural splendor that made Petra a wonder of the ancient world. The Nabataeans, an ancient Arab people, emerged as a significant cultural and economic force in the Middle East around the 4th century BCE. Initially nomadic, these skilled traders and merchants eventually settled, capitalizing on their strategic position at the crossroads of caravan trade routes. The Nabataeans were pivotal in the trade of frankincense, myrrh, and other precious commodities, which they transported across the Arabian Peninsula, connecting the far reaches of the Roman Empire and the kingdoms of southern Arabia. Their prowess in commerce was matched by their skills in agriculture, particularly in arid environments. The Nabataeans developed innovative techniques for harvesting rainwater and constructing terraces for farming, enabling them to cultivate the arid lands and sustain their growing population. As their wealth and influence grew, the Nabataeans transitioned from a nomadic lifestyle to establishing permanent settlements, with Petra becoming the most renowned. Carved into the cliffs of southern Jordan, Petra was a masterpiece of engineering and architectural design and served as the heart of the Nabataean kingdom. Its location was strategically chosen not only for its defensive advantages, but also for its proximity to key trade routes. Petra's architecture reflected a unique blend of Eastern traditions and Hellenistic influences, symbolizing the cultural and economic connections the Nabataeans had established across the region. The city's grandeur, including its elaborate tombs, temples, and sophisticated water management systems, was a testament to their advanced knowledge of architecture and hydraulics. The Nabataeans' language, initially spoken and later developed into a script, also played a significant role in their cultural identity. While influenced by Aramaic, the Nabataean script eventually evolved into the Arabic script, underscoring their contribution to the linguistic heritage of the Arab world. Politically, the Nabataeans skillfully navigated the complexities of regional power dynamics. They maintained their independence through diplomatic relations and alliances, notably with the Hellenistic kingdoms and later with Rome, ensuring their kingdom's prosperity and autonomy for centuries. In conclusion, the rise of the Nabataeans was a remarkable journey from nomadic beginnings to establishing a flourishing, sophisticated civilization. Their legacy, most visibly encapsulated in the majestic city of Petra, was built upon their skills in trade, agriculture, architecture, and diplomacy. The Nabataeans played a crucial role in the economic and cultural landscape of the ancient Middle East, leaving an indelible mark on history. The architectural splendor of Petra, often described as a rose-red city half as old as time, stands as a monumental tribute to the Nabataeans' mastery in craftsmanship and design. This ancient city, carved directly into the vibrant sandstone cliffs of Jordan's desert landscape, showcases a unique blend of architectural influences, integrating Nabataean, Hellenistic, and Roman styles. Petra's most iconic structure, al khazna or the Treasury, epitomizes the artistic and architectural genius of the Nabataeans. Believed to be a mausoleum or a temple, the Treasury's facade is adorned with intricate carvings and columns, demonstrating the precision and skill of Nabataean stone carvers. The Hellenistic architectural influences are evident in its classical columns and pediments, merged seamlessly with traditional Nabataean elements. Beyond the treasury, Petra is home to a vast array of architectural marvels. The monastery, another monumental building, mirrors the grandeur of the treasury, but on a larger scale. Its remote location and oversized dimensions reflect the Nabataeans' capability to adapt large-scale constructions to the challenging topography of the region. The city's streets are lined with tombs, temples, and houses, each reflecting the Nabataeans' understanding of their environment. The royal tombs, including the Urn Tomb, the Silt Tomb, the Corinthian Tomb, and the Palace Tomb, are notable for their impressive facades carved into the cliff faces, showcasing a variety of architectural styles and decorations. One of Petra's most remarkable features is its theater, which could seat thousands of spectators. Carved out of solid rock, 
This theater is a testament to the Nabataeans' engineering skills and their cultural interactions with the Greek world. The colonnaded street, which runs through the city center, marks the Roman influence on Petra. Lined with columns, this street shows the transition of Petra under Roman rule, combining the Nabataean architectural heritage with Roman urban planning and construction techniques. Petra's architectural grandeur is also evident in its advanced water management system. The Nabataeans engineered an intricate network of channels, pipes, and cisterns to capture and store the scarce rainfall, a critical innovation for sustaining a large urban center in the arid desert. In conclusion, the architectural splendor of Petra is a remarkable blend of innovation, artistry, and functionality. The city's structures, carved from the very mountains, stand as enduring monuments to the Nabataeans' architectural brilliance. Petra not only served as a center of trade and commerce, but also as a beacon of cultural and architectural achievement in the ancient world, attracting admiration and wonder even in modern times. Petra, the ancient city carved into the red sandstone of the Jordanian desert, is not only an architectural wonder, but also a testament to the extraordinary engineering skills of the Nabataeans. Their ingenuity is prominently displayed in the city's sophisticated water management system, structural design, and the very method of construction, which allowed them to create this magnificent city in such a harsh environment. At the core of Petra's engineering marvels was its advanced water management system, crucial for the survival of this city in the arid desert. The Nabataeans were experts in hydraulic engineering, and they developed a highly efficient system to collect, store, and distribute water. They constructed a network of channels, dams, and cisterns to harness the seasonal rainwater and floodwaters. Aqueducts and terracotta pipes were used to transport water throughout the city, ensuring a steady supply for drinking, agriculture, and bathing, even during dry periods. The Nabataeans also excelled in constructing their city directly from the rock, a technique that required precise planning and skill. They began carving their buildings from the top down, a method that minimized the risk of structural collapse and allowed for the intricate detailing for which Petra is renowned. This technique of rock-cut architecture was not only aesthetically impressive, but also provided structures that were insulated from the heat and were more durable against the elements. The design and construction of the tombs and temples in Petra further demonstrate their engineering prowess. The facades of these structures, including the iconic treasury and the monastery, were intricately designed with columns, capitals, and friezes, requiring careful calculation and craftsmanship to achieve such detailed work on a massive scale. Petra's theater, carved out of solid rock and capable of seating thousands of spectators, showcases another aspect of their engineering capabilities. The construction of this theater, with its carefully designed acoustics and seating arrangements, reveals a deep understanding of structural engineering and design principles. Additionally, the Nabataeans employed earthquake-resistant construction techniques, which was vital given the region's seismic activity. Many of their structures were designed to withstand tremors, a testament to their understanding of the need for resilient construction methods. In conclusion, the engineering marvels of Petra are a striking demonstration of the Nabataeans' advanced understanding of hydraulics, architecture, and construction techniques. Their ability to adapt to and manipulate their environment allowed them to create a city that was not only a center of trade and culture, but also an enduring symbol of human ingenuity and resilience. Petra remains a monument to the remarkable engineering achievements of an ancient civilization, standing the test of time and continuing to fascinate modern visitors and scholars alike. The ancient city of Petra, beyond its architectural and engineering feats, holds profound cultural and religious significance, reflecting the rich tapestry of Nabataean society. This significance is intricately woven into the city's structures, art, and the very layout of the city, offering a window into the beliefs, practices, and daily life of the Nabataeans. Petra was more than a commercial hub, it was a cultural melting pot where various traditions and practices converged. The Nabataeans, originally nomadic, assimilated influences from neighboring civilizations, including the Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians, creating a unique blend of cultural practices. This amalgamation is evident in the city's art and architecture, which display a mix of Eastern and Hellenistic styles. Religiously, Petra was a vital center for the Nabataeans' spiritual life.
the city is dotted with numerous tombs, temples, and altars, underscoring the importance of religious and funerary practices in Nabatean culture. The Nabatians worshipped a pantheon of deities, including Dashara, their chief god, and al Uzza, a pre-Islamic Arabian goddess. Many of the temples and tombs in Petra were dedicated to these deities, indicating their significance in Nabatean society. The these structures were not only places of worship, but also served as centers for religious and social gatherings, playing a key role in the communal life of the city. Petra's religious significance is also marked by its funerary architecture. The elaborate facades of the royal tombs, including the urn tomb and the silk tomb, attest to the Nabatians' beliefs in the afterlife and the importance they placed on burial practices. These tombs, carved into the cliffs, were meant to ensure a place of honor for the deceased in the afterlife. Culturally, Petra was a nexus for the exchange of ideas, goods, and traditions. The Nabatians, known for their skill in trade, facilitated connections between different cultures, making Petra a cosmopolitan city. The cultural diversity of the city is reflected in its art, inscriptions, and the varied architectural styles of its buildings. In conclusion, the cultural and religious significance of Petra is deeply embedded in its structures, art, and layout. The city stands as a testament to the Nabatians' ability to blend diverse cultural and religious elements into a cohesive and vibrant society. Petra not only symbolizes the architectural and engineering skills of its builders, but also reflects the rich cultural and spiritual life of an ancient civilization that thrived in the heart of the desert. The decline of Petra, once a thriving hub of the ancient world, was a gradual process influenced by a confluence of factors. Over the centuries, the city witnessed a slow but irreversible descent from its lofty heights of cultural and economic prominence. This decline was precipitated by changing trade routes, which diminished Petra's importance as a commercial center. The establishment of sea trade routes by the Romans bypassed the overland caravan routes, leading to a significant loss of trade and revenue for the city. Another major factor contributing to Petra's decline was a series of natural disasters. Earthquakes, particularly a devastating one in 363 AD, caused significant damage to the city's infrastructure, including its vital water management system. The destruction rendered by these earthquakes, coupled with diminished resources for repair and maintenance, left the city in a state of gradual decay. Additionally, the political and administrative changes under Roman rule, followed by the Byzantine Empire's control, shifted the region's power dynamics. While Petra continued to hold some significance as a cultural and religious site during the Byzantine period, it never regained its former glory as a trading powerhouse. Over time, Petra was abandoned and forgotten, its magnificent structures left to the mercy of the elements. Sand and debris gradually enveloped the city, concealing its splendor from the world. For centuries, Petra existed as little more than a legend, known only to the local Bedouins. The rediscovery of Petra in the modern era is credited to Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt in 1812. His adventurous journey, undertaken while disguised as an Arab scholar, led to the revelation of Petra's ruins to the Western world. Burckhardt's descriptions and sketches of Petra captivated the imagination of scholars and adventurers alike, marking the beginning of the site's archaeological exploration. Since its rediscovery, Petra has been the subject of extensive archaeological study and conservation efforts. These endeavors have uncovered a wealth of information about Nabatean culture, engineering, and art, revealing the city's historical and architectural significance. Today, Petra is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the new seven wonders of the world, attracting visitors from around the globe. In conclusion, the decline and rediscovery of Petra tell a story of a city that rose to prominence through its strategic location and ingenuity of its people, only to fade into obscurity before being rediscovered and appreciated once again as a monumental achievement of human culture and history. Petra's journey through time, from a bustling ancient city to a forgotten ruin, and now to a treasured archaeological site, continues to enchant and educate, offering invaluable insights into our shared human past.